Yo, 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 yo. We are back again with another Mixing Pod podcast coming at you. How you feeling today, Tariq? Who are you? I'm, I'm the host of the show today, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scrolling. What is go with you, bro? Why do you I'm always have to have your tongue sticking out? Now you just gotta snap your fingers. <laughs> It's like, nah, I look crazy, bro. Don't even post that shit. <laughs> but anyway, we are back again with episode what? 33? 33. 33. We're going crazy with it right now. Two more episodes, it will be 35. Does that have any significance? No, I'm just mentioning it. Anyway, how are you today, Kayla? What's going on, y'all? I'm doing pretty good. Happy to be here. Another day. Another week. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What about you, Tree? I'm all right. You know, no day, no dollar. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I love that, and I love to see you guys every Wednesday. Of course, you know that. Um, this is one of the uh, pinnacles of my my life now. Uh, every Wednesday, I look forward to this. So, anyway, today we have the drinks of the day, guys. So I had to bring it a little back. You know, we we uh. We're not millennials, but we're, what are we? We're Gen Ys, right? Gen, Gen, Gen Zs, that's what we are. I don't know about y'all, but we survived off Arizona. Yeah. Just like we survived off of motherfucking uh, Maruchin ramen, too. So like, that's very true. So like, shit, this is just another staple. So I thought to, to grab this when I seen it in stores. It is spiked Arizona, hard iced teas. So like, we're still on our, um, Summertime vibe. Summertime vibe drinks Summertime outside. Vibe, summertime vibe, summertime vibe. I wonder what we're going to start doing when winter comes. Like, what are we drinking? Like, root beer floats? I like that. What? <laughs> 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 yeah, you will not catch me drinking that shit. I'm screaming, but all right. Let's crack one of these open. Did you, uh, you used, to drink, used to drink the uh, iced teas? Nah, I never used to drink the iced teas. Yeah, I only no. drank the uh, kiwi, strawberry, Johns, the um, watermelon. Arnold. I used to drink the Arnold Palmer though. Really? I, I, oh I yeah, the, all, the Arnold Palmer. And then they came favorite. out the uh, with the, the mango Arnold. one. I yeah. like the mango Mucho one. Mucho mango. The, the mango, mango one. Did y'all ever see the uh, black Arizona came with the strawberries all over it? No. That's the uh, strawberry Arnold Palmer. That shit is fire. Let me let me search that shit. Strawberry up. Arnold Palmer. Yes, that shit is fire, bro. Like that's a rare one. Search that shit. I never seen that one. Yeah. I don't think at least. It's a black can with like red red dots all over it. But anyway, which one do you want? We got green tea, we got uh I'll try the peach one. Peach tea. Green tea, the peach tea. You want the green? Lemon. Oh and lemon. Oh damn, man. I don't know. Give me the lemon one. You're talking about these. Let me see. I don't know why they're different. Le- 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 the ba- yeah, the bear one. Yeah, the golden bear one. Lemon, lemon. You want the lemon one? Lemon, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. What was the one with Give the black with the strawberries on the weird black can with the strawberries on on the John John? I don't know if they had that. Give me that lemon. The the lemon. So if I can't see you, ew, Drew. What the fuck is good with you, bro? Who's a crackhead? I'm glad the show's open yet. <laughs> you want the peach? Peach. You want the peach? Thank you. Peaches, 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 oh, yeah. Do you have an orange? Did you watch the mark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's Great. what my girlfriend calls me as her peaches. And so Green she always be singing that shit to me. Peach and but then lemon. we finally watched the Mario Fruit movie punch. the other day. And it was so cute. I just cute. let you do three of the best flavors of Arizona's of all time. I know, it's hard to pick. I, mean, uh, I would have gone with that lemon. peach one, but. I mean, the fact that you didn't have the grape. Arizona's coming. Oh, the grape one. Grape one. That's the best one. That's all right. Orange one? Tough. Yeah. Orange aid one? Peach. Fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruit punch. That's yeah. the orange aid. Water. Water. Fruit, fruit punch. Watermelon. Uh, Man, mango's the worst on, one. The best one is strawberry kiwi. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Top three right now in order. Damn. Mucho mango. Two top Arizona flavors. Yes, one mucho mango. Two kiwi strawberries. Three watermelon. Damn, I'm just gonna 
Bautista and even cheers it up. Because it's, it's fucking Arizona, bro. Like, cheers, guys. Oh, no. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, y'all. Cheers. Damn, Shout that out actually, to Arizona. That, that tastes like it, though, too. Arizona. Premium spiked beverage, hard, real brew, iced tea with lemon. Now, imagine Shout they made these flavor. bitches like the size of the actual Arizona. Shout, Shout out to Find. We'd be fucking we smoking wine on some. Huh? We'd be some, some wine Runs wine of buttons today. Yeah. Fire. Got that shit stuck in my head, that peaches song. Peaches, 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 peaches. We'd be some, peaches, 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 peaches. We'd be some uh, alkies, like you like to call us. I mean, that's what, anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. So, um, Yo, let's go ahead and start up with uh, weekends, guys. Uh, Kayla, let's let's start off with yours. My weekend was good, y'all. Um, it was busy, honestly. So, all last week I was busy, busy, busy working. Um, Thursday, I did an event in, uh, uh fuck, where was Holistic? Um, that shit is fucking good. I haven't even tried it. Um, oh, that's good. Um, I can really taste the honey in this. I taste the green tea like crazy in that. I feel like that's what I'm tasting this honey in here. The honey in here? Mm. It's like, um, like the clover. Clover oh, or the orange? No, the mm. blossom honey. Like, like it's like really floral. Malt. Mm. It's like malt. Mm. Mm -mm. It tastes good. It tastes really good to me though. Malt beverage with natural flavors. Well, the yeah, malt beverage. Um, I don't know. But I mean, regardless, it's good as hell. Um, but yeah, so I worked an event in. Um, I think it was in Worcester, actually. Yeah, it was at a spray paint like art studio. Worcester in Worcester. 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 That's how everyone outside of New England says it. Worcester. Mm. I got corrected today by a, a fellow Rhode Islander um, while I was doing a claim, and I seen a place in Rhode Island I've never seen before. Chepa shit. Chepa. You ever seen that? C H E P A C H E T. Chepa shit. I said, called it Chepeshet and she Chepeshet, bro. Yeah, yeah she Chepeshet. she pronounced it like that, and I was, she was just like Chepeshet. I think I've never I've never heard that. Yeah, I, I only know that because that's when I I was doing on uh, Amazon. But like, I was just like, what the hell? I was like Chepeshet. She was like, no, you must not be from Rhode Island. I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Clearly, um, but yeah, so I did that event in Worcester. That was fucking dope, honestly. It was a really amazing event. Um, my managers were actually really like happy and re just really impressed. I feel like they're just more and more impressed, you know, by not just my work, but everybody's work. As the weeks go by, as we start getting more events on, as we're planning more things, as each one of us is kind of taking more responsibility, right? And um, just filling these roles that need to be filled. And so and that was really cool. Friday, I worked another event in Plymouth uh, that was an, also an outdoor event. It was more like kind of like a like on a grounds, like large, um, like just field. Uh, so that was really cool getting to, you know, see some some people that I've seen before in the past. I'm trying some new products, meet some new people as well. Saturday was what did I do Saturday? Um, Saturday was pretty chill. I want to say I was up here. Um, I tried to go to the pool. Um, it didn't end up working out because, like, the fucking rain. Obviously, the weather here fucking sucks. It's so shitty. Um, it'd be, like, sunny as fuck one moment, and then it rains the next moment. So that's okay. You know, it was a pretty chill day. And, um, and then Sunday was really fun, really relaxing. I actually got to go to the RISD Museum, which is really fun. If you guys have never been, definitely check it out. <laughs> it's actually RISD free Museum. on Thursdays from 5 to 8 and on Sundays all day. Uh, so that's really awesome, you know, if you're looking for something inexpensive to do around Providence It was really nice to my girl and I literally we parked the car at um, there's like a like Roger Williams Like a little park right there like right in front of like the fire station And then we walked down a little bit to the museum and then like 
on the same strip on the same street we like walked down we went to plant city to eat some vegan food which was nice uh and you know that was my sunday and then starting off this week monday i tried to take it you know just really relaxed full moon um monday and tuesday monday going into tuesday basically or just yesterday um it was like it was vibrant i'm not sure if you guys saw it but um it was a lot of crazy energy you know last week going into this new week uh my social energy level was drained completely um on thursday's event i actually worked the stunden glass um station like they had um uh, do you guys know what a stunden glass is so it's basically a Wait, gravity it's bomb it's yeah, the yeah, gravity bomb yeah, that yeah. yeah um so i they had it set up on on a table and the you know our, our clients um the, the people that were hosting the event wanted to showcase their flower product and so i worked to that station right but i was literally just like like packing that shit repeatedly Absolutely. lighting it flipping it giving it to, out to people you know um but that those interactions just within themselves like that shit drained the fuck out of me um and so it was just a lot you know but being able to recognize that and live through it and learn from it and grow from it um so it was really nice to just be able to have some so, you know a couple chill days on the weekend going into the week um yesterday was um oh and then i stayed in salem sunday night and then monday night as well and i came back to Pawtucket yesterday morning um this morning i was really busy i had uh, an appointment this morning i had a couple of meetings as well um was able to get some more work done that i needed to get done and uh yeah i mean just continuing to do the thing you know mm -hmm. so yeah that was my weekend exactly going nice. through the motions mm -hmm. nice. Um, my weekend was, was pretty chill, um, same thing, kind of like Kayla, uh, just chilled out. Um, my wife unfortunately isn't here, so I'm not doing any fun activities currently at the moment. Um, just kidding, I'm definitely doing fun things. I'm hanging out with my pal, Tariq, that I get to see damn near every day, right? Don't you love it, Tariq? Yeah, I do. Tariq's, bir <laughs> Tariq's <laughs> birthday's <laughs> coming up, everybody, so... Be ready. Hey, it's your birthday, right? <laughs> now it's your turn. But um, yeah, I actually been doing some scouting moves and shit like that. Actually, um, I remember uh, remember last week I was talking about the uh, when I went on that shoot and I was speaking to those other two actors and stuff like that. Yes. So I went on Actors Access and set up my uh, page for that. So nice. we're gonna see what that brings and whatnot. Um, you you wait. You gonna wait four months for the strike to end? Most likely, I mean, like they're not really having any major filming shots or anything. They're the only thing that's really going around right now are commercials, bro. Like everybody's doing commercials. That's it. Like literally, like that. If you could get a big name commercial too, you're straight. But like, there's nothing. No movies coming out. No like shows being produced. Like all there is are commercials right now. So like, and what photo shoot? Like regular like print photo shoots. To be honest, so like. The pickings are slim right now, but I mean, everything has an end, and who knows how long this is gonna last. But mm -hmm. um, once it comes to an end, the, the floodgates will open and everybody will start eating again. But um, that I did that. Um, I also was looking into this show that's coming up in Boston. It's a fashion show. Uh, I believe it's called. I forgot what it's called actually. I gotta look into it. But um, I was gonna apply to that. A lot of people um, that I know actually know about that show. They're not in it or anything, but they know about it and they said good things about it. So I was just like, I only like to work with people that are actually about what they say and like bring what they th bring their worth to the table. I guess you yeah. know what I mean. So like, <coughs> you're not gonna lay your weight. I'm not trying to work with you for real, for real. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I was doing. I'm just doing model moves, acting moves. Um, I'm still working claims. That was it. Dope, dope. That's awesome. Nice. Hey, buddy. Um, it looks okay. Uh, a little under the weather <coughs> right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I've been, I had a sore throat, like, last week, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know why I'm going to talk. Jesus, let me drink some water. <coughs> but, uh, no, yeah, I had a sore throat, like, all last week, and then... Maybe like Saturday, kind of started like my nose started like just runny nose and just my like face and stuff like that. Uh, I'm feeling better now, so now I'm good. But 
It's been all right. Um, what was it? I had a baby shower I did on Saturday. Uh, it was like 40 people. Just okay. cold, cold apps and stuff like that. That's what's up. Like, they crazy. Thanks. Um, and then we're lounge Friday and Saturday. It was kind of slow, but I mean, day party on Sunday, which was pretty good, not bad. So it kind of sucks because when we're like, all right, like we're trying to plan things to get people, more people to come out and stuff like that, be outside. Mm-hmm. But then you kind of you kind of forget or realize if you're not really looking that everyone else is doing the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. So like, I didn't know the Puerto Rican festival was on Sunday too, mm-hmm. and it was packed at Indian Point Park. So I didn't. So me not knowing that until literally like last minute, hour right. before we we opened or stuff like that on Sunday. So it's kind of like damn, what the hell? Mm-hmm. But like <clears throat> it's like if we didn't plan it, it's like damn, we're kind of missing out. But if but then we do plan it, then people don't show up and you're like, damn, what the hell's going on and stuff like that. But of course, like, they're doing it and then everyone else is trying to capitalize on it, trying to get people in and stuff like that. So, yeah. um, but I mean, we pushed, we pushed it back for, for like a few hours just because just people were like, oh, yeah, we're going to come like right after and stuff. So, I mean, we did that. And people, people still came, people were ordering food and stuff like that. Everyone, of course, they love the wings and stuff like that. So, I mean, it was cool. Um, yeah, that's kind of my week, and you know, again, just uh, preparing and gearing up for uh, this Saturday's softball game slash bookback drive at uh, Prep Metcalf Hawkins uh, on Hawkins. Um, if you guys want to donate or anything, you guys can still donate. DM me or some other detailing. Uh, we've been holding our team practices. Uh, Nazir's been practicing with his boys, getting them ready. I had Drew out there last week, trying to get him ready. You know, just you all here. Yeah, just trying. Drew, Drew center field, yo. Start center fielder. E. Y- you ready? I'm ready. E. Nazir, you ready? You are not ready. No, Nazir's ready. Nazir's literally been practicing like every day. He's like, I look bored already. He, he's, he's been practicing like every day. Talk your shit, Nazir. Um, what, how early are we getting together for this? Uh, yeah. so Saturday is at, from 12 to 4. Um, the game's gonna start at like 1 o'clock. But, I mean, if you can get there for like 11, 30, 12, we can kind of like, to set up everything and you guys can kind of just warm up and stuff like that. Then nah, I came for the warm up, not the setup, bro. Wow, I'm fucking okay, crazy. cool. <laughs> I did. The hell? Practice. <laughs> you trying to get paid, but you're not trying to do the work. I'm dead. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we got we got jank, we got games, we got bounce house, we got uh, <laughs> we got games, we got Django, we got. Bounce house, we got a sling, a slingshot, slingshot ride. yeah. The slingshot. <laughs> Shoot your ass in the air, come through. Yo, we got the, the whole slingshot, slingshot ride. Going yeah. through? How the fuck it's are you getting that shit? It's not, it's not the one you go in the air. It's like the one. Nah, 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 it's like nah, the nah. doom ride. Nah, 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 fuck that. It's the one you sit in the seat and they strap you and they shoot your ass in the air, bro. As no. far as you could fucking go. And then that shit drops your ass. Okay, that's what we say. got. No. So anybody that's listening, come out, bro. Come out, ride the slingshot. That shit's gonna be fucking dope. They got a bouncy house. They got a fucking pet in zoo. They got unlimited ice cream bar. No, they got it all. Zoo. Come through, bring right, your kids, get a book okay, bag. We, do it all. We not gonna lie to them and say that. Every <laughs> it's bigger and better. It's setting it? up a whole. But we got we got a track. Track. It's a track. Ass, a whole we, track. We're gonna have someone doing uh, face painting for kids. Cool. We're gonna have the Jenga out there. We're gonna have a bounce house. We're gonna have the slingshot. We're gonna have food. We gotta did I lie? Out. Like did I lie? Yeah, said, not going on. You said we're gonna have unlimited ice cream. We ain't got that. All right, well, we can have we, well, the petting zoo is actually out there. We don't have that either. Nigga, bring a dog out there. BB. That's, that's, that's your petting zoo? Boom. Boom. I'll bring Titty out. Fuck it. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. There's a line. You know what I just brought, uh, thought of? Hmm. Like, it, I'd be curious to see if, um, like, Big bro- Brothers Big Sisters of Rhode Island would want to, like, partner on something like this yeah. for, like, next year. That would like, be something. Yeah, yeah, like, I know that they get a lot of donations and stuff throughout the year, and I mean, they're always, like, kind of doing these sorts of things, like, on their own, too, if you will. Uh, I know they do a bowling tournament for the kids once a year. Um, they do, I think they do, like, a field day um, mm-hmm. or something so, like that. But, yeah. So, when we were feel, uh, brainstorming that day about names, I came up with... Providence Day of Play, right? So it would be like almost kind of like a big ass field day, kind of like what he's doing right now, but I in a bigger form. I think they, they're 
might have been something with that name, like an event with that name or something. Really? Yeah, because that sounds very familiar. I'm not even going to hold you. Let me see. Providence Day of Play. Yeah, so it's like a kid event where you just bring out your kids, but like, that is something that I fucking used to love when I was younger, bro. Field Day? Me too. Bro, yeah. what? Bro, that shit, all the activities you would do, the egg toss, the bean bag, uh, yeah. the mm -hmm. fucking uh, potato sack races, all yeah. that shit, bro. Like, that shit's fun. We were saying about it. And, like, that's why I'm saying, saying like, like, yeah. we're gonna sure. have, you know how they have, like, yeah. day trill and shit? We should, oh, have, for we should sure. do some shit like that yep. for all the kids. They, right. Then we can get bigger, have a petting zoo, do all that right. shit. Slingshots where they shoot your ass in the air. Like, for real. Bro, like, we can do a contract with, like, fucking Six Flags or some shit. That would, mm -hmm. that would be cool. Imagine. Oh, bro. We're, gonna, we're doing relay races with the kids, too. Have mm -hmm. a few teams. And, like, the song for the kids, like, I mean. I think we should trademark that as a as a unit. Right. Providence Day of Play. I'm sure, you should. I'm sure someone has it, but I mean, we can literally come no, she just look it up. It I mean, up. not a trademark. Like, I mean, I mean a trademark on this real quick. But. I'm sure we can. And then we could just have Days of Play in different cities. Well, that, then you can't. Boston Day of Play. I, I feel like there was like a national day of play or something like that. Fuck like, Cartoon Network and they fucking UNICEF shit, No, bro. I'm sure it's probably like... Because I feel like I've heard that, huh, like that name. It's that like national Day of Play or whatever. It's probably, it probably is something yeah. like that. National, national Day of Play. June 24. Yeah. Nickelodeon I'm Nickelodeon about, like, Worldwide City Day events. of Play. I feel like it was like on Nickelodeon that I've kind of heard of this like Day of Play type, you know? Because I feel like that's, I mean, that's shit. I would go ahead and do this shit in Providence because ain't nobody doing that shit out here. Search it up, oh. Providence Day of Play. I did. She Nothing did. really came up. Nothing really came like Providence Day School came up, that's right? What I'm saying, they have right? like. Like different like lacrosse games, something that just came up, a football game came up, like Yeah. I mean me and Anthony's already talking about going bigger and stuff like that for next year too, so I mean we'll have time to kinda see what's out there, what's not out there. Fuck kinda... that, you're not taking my idea without me. Nigga, we're all in it together. What are you talking about? I right. You know, why don't uh second human be a sponsor, yo? Like, get on the banner, sponsor us. Okay. Let me just make this clear. Hmm. Andrew sponsors the location that we are currently speaking from right now. That's Andrew, that's not Second Human. That is Second Human. Andrew, Second Human, Daryl, Daryl Andrew Smith. That's all one unit, man. Like, that's all <laughs> one thing. When we get multiple streams of, of income, then we can talk sponsorships. But right now... That's, that's, that's okay. I, I already got the banner made. It's okay. We got to... She's looking for it, too. So. Yeah, so I just searched up the, the U.S. Trademark, trademark Database, mm -hmm. and Providence Day of Play is not trademarked, so mm -hmm. you could take that. Um, and then I searched up Day of Play together. Um, nothing specifically under just Day of Play came up. Seven Days of Play, um, Black Girl Day of Play, Days of Play. Um, there's a few others, including um, Nick worldwide day of play but that one's actually dead um and they actually filed that twice and there are four times i should say and um they're all um those four are dead but i think it's because they got worldwide these worldwide day of, day of play yeah just as is without the nick or without the nickelodeon and those two are alive mm -hmm. um but yeah you could do like a oh my god you almost spilled my fucking drink Anyway. What does that say? 25 days of naughty play? What? Oh, naughty elves okay. play? Oh, hell. What okay. the? That better be dead. Fuck. That shit I'm is. Gonna get abandoned. Yeah. Abandoned. Game equipment? In 2017. Body, emotional, and psychological games. Fuck that. The owner is uh, Scott Ortega of 1140. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Now everybody Jesus. needs to know, because what is this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it was abandoned in 2018, but yeah, game equipment sold as a unit for playing mind, body, emotional, and psychological games for adult couples and individuals. Like he needs wise. to be on the watch list. <laughs> yeah, that's so He's correct. locking motherfuckers up in the dungeon. Anyway, well, before our asses get... Taken. Yeah. I mean, you said his name, so yeah, you're yeah. first. 
Oh well. <laughs> anybody can search this up and find it. I know. So in reality. I'm still not helping your case. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my weekend. You know, softball game this weekend. Uh, Red Lobs this weekend. Friday and Saturday. And yeah. Cool. What's this up? That's good. That's Sounds good. like we all had some pretty chill, yeah. relaxed yeah, weekend. I, I liked it. It's my turn. Yes, it is. Starting off the show today, guys. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So today, I wanted to do something a little different. I feel like every time I come on the show, I do something a little different. You feel me? Got to switch it up all the time. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. I am actually going to transcribe a guided meditation for manifestation. I'm going to have some music playing in the background. It's only 10 minutes. Um, so, you know, if you do not want to participate in this, you can go ahead and skip forward a little bit in the video. But, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get, get right into it. I'm going to start playing some music from the beginning. Okay. I'm going to... Back up from the mic a little bit. I hope it sounds good on you guys' end. So I'm gonna get right into it. This practice was transcribed from the Daily Meditation Podcast on Spotify, taken from the app Declutter the Mind. And just as a note, I have added a bit of my own flair to it. If you like this practice and would like to learn more, visit declutterthemind.com or find it on the Google Play Store or Apple Store. Welcome to a guided meditation for manifestation on Declutter the Mind. In this practice, we will use mindfulness in a visualization to help us build some positive energy. This energy will help us build feelings of optimism, enthusiasm, and other productive feelings we can carry over into the rest of the day. Let's start with our practice by finding our seat. You can sit on a chair or cushion on the floor. I like to lay out on my yoga mat with my back flat against the floor and the palms of my hand open towards the sky. And just ensuring that you're comfortable, let's maintain an energetic posture here. And now with your eyes open, start by taking a few big, deep breaths. Breathing in through your nose, and then back out through your mouth. Let's continue to do so for a few more seconds. to return to a natural pace, close your eyes. Let's start here by welcoming awareness of our bodies and our space. Starting by noticing the weight of your body against the floor or the chair. Noticing the force of gravity pressing down on you. Noticing the physical points of contact that your body is making, such as your legs against the chair, your feet against the floor, your back against the chair, your arms by your side or in your lap. Now, let's begin to picture our day ahead. If you'd like, you can also picture the next few days ahead of you if you're at the end of your current day. Just begin to see yourself going about your day after this meditation practice. 
So beginning to visualize your day ahead and see it play out how you want it to go. See yourself making good choices. See yourself making meaningful connections with others. See yourself accomplishing all the tasks with ease. See yourself doing everything you want to do today with a big smile on your face, filled with confidence and energy. What do you want to happen today? What do you want to get done? What do you want to accomplish? What will you not be doing? what else begins to arise around this visualization. Any feelings or moods, any specific thoughts. And if you're struggling to visualize a day filled with positive energy, you can also try to think back to a day where almost everything went your way. Thinking back to a day where you got a lot done or made a lot of progress to a goal. Perhaps a day where you spent quality time with a friend or a family member. A day that made you feel really good about yourself or a day where you slept easily at night. And so visualize yourself now in the places that you will be at today. Whether it's at home, in the office, at school, or anywhere else. And just picture yourself moving about swiftly, confidently, doing all the things you need to do today, effortlessly. And just visualize yourself now smiling throughout the day. Imagine speaking with others with a positive presence and attitude. Picture yourself speaking kind words to yourself, confident in your own abilities and energy. See yourself making decisions and doing good things with a positive energy.
And now bring yourself out of this visualization practice and back into your breath. Begin to notice the breath. Everything from the in-breath to the out-breath. Continue to ground your attention here, in the breath, steadying the mind. Noticing what thoughts and emotions become, begin to arise and pop up in the mind, while still managing an open awareness on the breath for the next few moments. how you feel. Notice all the sensations running through your body. You can pause this audio or stay here for a bit if it feels good to you. But before we go about our day, let's give grace to the universe for allowing us to see another day. And most importantly, let's thank ourselves for showing up today in this practice. for my own sanity 
you know, um, because I don't, I don't like feeling negative, low vibration emotions. It makes me, you know, a different person towards others. It, all of that emotion just automatically comes out, even if you don't want it to, you know, when you're feeling like these really strong emotions of whatever it is. And so, um, you know, it's just becoming more aware within yourself, having time to be able to sit and take a step back and reflect on what's going on, which is something I continuously say um, time and time again. And um, what's this? So I was on the, the cool. modeling gig like two weeks ago. Yeah, and with the I met Yeah, I met her. Cool. And she does holistic stuff. Nice. So I mentioned you. Yeah. And then I was just like, yo, like everything that she was telling me it was crazy because she was like, yeah, like I do. Uh, like this thing that she did. She just did. Reiki? Yeah. Or like, I told, I did? said Reiki. Oh, you know how I'm always yeah. saying Reiki? Oh, she did a So like, I, I was just like, I know what you're talking about. You talking about Reiki. And she was just like, yeah, exactly. Like, right. And I was just like, yo, like I know uh, I do a podcast and everything and like with my friend Kayla. And I was like, yo, I got to introduce her to you. Literally. Yeah. Like she was super dope. She's super cool. Like she's She's older. She's like uh, in her forties, I think. But no like, shit. She looks she, young she as doing, hell. Yeah, she's she is doing her thing. keeping up like, with it. That's what's up. Yes. But, uh, and then she used to do. She used to dabble with cannabis and stuff like that. Cool. She said she has like a, a guru or something like that. Yo, send me her page. I'm about to follow her right away. Cause yeah. hell yeah, yeah. Always looking. Um, you know, to to just like connect with people like that um it's amazing to be able to find like-minded individuals you know who have this a, this sole purpose and they know it you know and you're able to to see that right away when you're also in a place of you know of that um but yeah i just um it was you know full moon zoo um so just a lot of energy going on and i'm like you know what i need to like take a quick step back for a second and just reflect you know on how hard i've been working on all of the things that i've been doing last week was the first full week that i ever worked with cannabis management you know and it's one of those things that like last week was so crazy busy this week you know we didn't have anything laying low um I, next week i don't believe we have any events i think we have more events coming for towards like the end of august and then going into the beginning of september but you know it's also one of those things that's like Okay, just like things take time. Um, you know, it's it's happening. It's in the works. The the gears are moving, and everything that's meant to happen will will happen. You know, one way or another. Um, so but yeah, so that was that was my little spiel for today. Okay, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little meditation. Yeah, I haven't meditated in so long. Too. Yeah. Like last time I did it was in SCIA. Nice. We used, like we used to do, we used to meditate in middle school and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Really low school, just like one period, like yeah. just meditate, or whatever. So, yeah. like, so literally. Did like, you guys I, like it? Just like how do you, how do you guys middle, feel now? In middle, in middle school, I mean, I liked it. And I mean, mm -hmm. we did it. We did it in uh, SCA or the one class. Like it kind of like brought me back. So it's, I mean, it's always nice one to do it, honestly. And even like now, it's just like kind of just relaxing and just picturing like. All right, positive thoughts, positive mm -hmm. moments like that. Yeah, I was going to ask if basically. like anything like came to you guys like like prominently if there was like anything that, you know, like like you wanted to share that you like got out of this, you know, honestly, like meditation. Honestly, I just literally just just picture just positive moments like all right, like cool. you know, prep, you know, Thursday's my prep day every long, so you know, just prepping everything, just going getting things done and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Going through the service, motions of service, you know, just positive thoughts, people coming in and stuff like that, ordering food. Um, Saturday with the book backdrop, everything just going smoothly, everyone smiling, laughing, everyone yeah. having a good time, stuff like that. So I mean, I feel like those are things I kind of just picture, you know, just just try to put, in, just try to put it into my mind and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so. putting that energy out into the universe, exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm not gonna hold you. It uh, there was one part where you were just like, yo, like feel like you're sunken into your chair, like you know what you mean. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Anyway, um, it reminded me, no bullshit, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but it really did make me think of this. In high school, after prom, they had um, a fucking hypnotist. The hell? Yeah. And Why? They it's literally just one of the things that they had for the school, like, and he would literally like 
call people on stage and hypnotize them and shit. So there was this one time where like I literally got called on stage and he was telling he was telling us like it kind of felt the same way, but I know it's not you're not hypnotizing me. Obviously, right. it's like you're bringing me to a, a awareness. peaceful awareness. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it was just like yeah, like that sunken like feel like you're sunken down into the um, chair type shit. Mm -hmm. Like I felt that. Yeah, I felt that. I did. Much better space that I was going to write that um, I could, I remember, you know, um, yeah. You know, it's crazy when you said the, um, that you had the journey with your shadow, I played it out in my head and made like damn near a whole fucking short film out of it. What do you call your shadow? My in, shadow self? In, in, um, Spanish. Um, well, shadow would be like, well, no, ghost is fantasma. But shadow. Shadow is just like, damn, how the fuck do you say shadow? It would be called the girl in her shadow. The girl in her shadow, it would be in Spanish. Like in Colombia, and like, you're just chilling, but like... Shadow. You, you obviously can't see your shadow at night, so ah, like, you get sad when the, when the sun goes down. And you're like, your shadow's like your best friend, so like, during the day and everything like that, you guys are hanging out and shit. Bro, I got this shit played out. Sombra, there we go. Sombra. So how do you say a girl in her shadow? The girl in her shadow. Una, li the, the una niña en su sombra. That'd be the title of the short film. We going to Spain. We gonna fucking have that short film filming. Like circus back. And we're going to the Cannes Festival in, in fucking Paris. What? what? Circus Maximus. What the fuck is that? That's YouTube. Is that's his movie. His short film that he put out. Oh, I didn't even see it. What? What was it? Girl in her shadow? I don't know. Okay. It was like, it was like it's a utopia. That should be fire though. Come on, like y'all think it's gonna be like producing. I'm down, action? bro. I'm down for that shit. You gotta you gotta show me some like we should film that shit at the quarry. We should. That'd be interesting. Do, like, a short film. And we can make it look like Colombia. Make it look like Colombia? Nigga, what kind of budget you got? I'm screaming! I had no budget that first shoot. No budget. I sent you out to the store to go get the fucking, uh, flags. Yeah, yeah, I know. To get the flags? The, uh, smoke bombs. Oh, yeah. smoke bombs. <laughs> good times, good times. Yeah. But alright. It's only gonna be getting bigger and better, though. That's right. But, yeah. Anyway, that's a good ass. We gotta write that down. The girl in her shadow. Say that shit in Spanish again. Una niña en su sombra. That's right. We gon... <laughs> Write it up. <laughs> anyway. Um, I yeah. thought we were on writer's strike. Fuck that. We can still, <laughs> go, go on, we can still brainstorm and write shit down. Wait till that strike over and then we can fucking You're right, it. though. Have, have the whole shit scripted, ready to go. Yeah. Shit yeah. Lips. Yo, take this shit. Who, who giving me oh, the most for buffet. it? Stop. What? Stop playing. What? Stop oh, playing. We eat over right. that, nigga, that, nigga's, that nigga gonna be like... Get your stupid. Get this nigga out of here. No, 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 no. You gotta hear her say it in Spanish first. <laughs> say it, say it, say it. Get him, get him, say it, get him. Why well, no? Drew, give it up. Give it up. Right, no stuff. But, um, yeah. I got some shit to talk about. Thank you, Lil John. I got some shit to fucking talk about. And this is actually. Shout out to Nas, by the way. Um, Nas. Nas? He's okay. Nas. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, Nas kind of brought this to my attention, though. That Lizzo shit. Have you guys heard about that? Nah, yeah. what's going on? Jesus okay. Christ. Please tell me. Bro, so, um, before you even do it, just give her a hug first. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What, Liz, what's going on here? Liz. Lizzo, what you doing? So, supposedly, Lizzo has been body shaming her backup dancers. Lizzo. And that's the word on the street. Anyway, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Lizzo has been body shaming her backup dancers, make them do like crazy shit, like eat bananas out of their vaginas. What? <laughs> yeah, see? Right? Wait, wait, Am wait, I wait, lying? wait, 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 wait. Oh, lost with body. She's what? forcing it. She's forcing them to do this shit. What the fuck? And then, my, mind you, she's calling you fat. She's calling you fat. Yeah, she's fat. <laughs> It's like, yeah, she don't throw stones in a glass house, you know what I mean? Like, 
She's fat shaming other fat people. That's horrible. And because they work for you, you're making them do slave shit. Eat huh. bananas out of their vaginas? Yeah, I, want, I want you to eat a banana out of his ass or some shit like that. And I'm just going to sit here and eat a whole 12 piece. <laughs> what? Whoa. Where I'm did foul. Guys... I'm foul for that. And Lizzo, I'm about to this... real life. I'm sorry. Where is this happening? What? Where? Where is this? I think it's on her tour. Oh, it's on her tour. Yeah, it's part of management. Like, they're going to Yeah, like, three girls been... then they came out. It's been harassing them. It's like on her tour, whatever. whatever. It's been on like uh, Instagram yesterday and stuff. It was on IG yesterday. Mm-hmm. It just popped out on IG yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's actually confirmed. Like, this is real shit. This is not no fucking TMZ rumor. Like, Lizzo is out here. And she's fucking fat shaming other fat people. And that's not okay. And making them do... Nasty shit. Yeah. Freaky shit. But nasty shit. shit. Nasty, yeah, sexual things. That Freaky is... shit, but nasty. Still nasty. I don't... <laughs> Put no banana nowhere when it's not supposed to be above my mouth. Interesting shit. Or my smoothie. Like, <laughs> mostly by former dancers accuses Lizzo of sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment. I knew you ain't crack another one. No. Um, Lizzo crack has been sued by three former dancers who accuse the Grammy winner of sexual mm-hmm. harassment and alleged the singer and her production company created a hostile work environment. Uh, the civil lawsuit was filed on Tuesday, uh, claiming that the dancers had to engage with nude performers, uh, pressured the dancers to engage with nude performers at a club, and shamed one of them for the weight gain before firing her. Jesus. See, um, and y'all think Lizzo's sweet. Numerous charges, including <laughs> sexual... Um, uh, religious and racial harassment, disability, discrimination, assault, and false imprisonment. Mm. You trying to treat me like That's crazy. Yep. <laughs> the court on um, files claimed after the concert in Amsterdam. Um, sheesh. Mm-hmm. Bro. And those will begin inviting cast members to take turns to touching the new performers. I'm trying to get into the Illuminati. Hey, drink up. These ain't sheep. Wait, I'm trying to read about where the fuck it's talking about bananas, bro. Cause like only you would look for that. Cause like what the <laughs> fuck, bro? That shit's weird though. Like it didn't oh, say anything about, about that. that where the fuck y'all heard that shit? The banana eating out your ass, out the coochie, the coochie coochie coochie. That shit's crazy though, like, no matter how much money I have, like, obviously I'm gonna be telling niggas to do crazy shit, like, but on some jackass shit, you feel me? Like, jump off that roof, I'll pay you like 10 G's. That's me, with money. That's why I don't have money. This is, this is why my life is. <laughs> we we should not get in. I'm gonna rewind money. this episode back but like, by like 20, 15, 20 minutes, and then just listen to it again. Before your, um, your meditation? When my meditation. She said we need to start. Because <laughs> you obviously didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Telling people to jump off the roof. Nah, but all right, all right. Let's, let's be real. Like... Let's be real. If you had bread, right, and you're out with your girls, y'all are all oh, yeah. having fun. You're lit. You're lit, right? And you see, you see, like, I don't know. What's some crazy shit? All right, a girl. Uh, uh, all right, y'all are coming out of the club, right? And you see a fucking possum, right? And you tell your girl, "Yo, go pick that shit up. I'll, I'll, I'll pay you like a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars." That's that different. Shit and Shorty goes and picks that shit up and is literally like petting that shit like a cat. Like that's funny, right? I mean, and you're doing, yeah, and you would do some shit. Like I can see you doing some shit. Like I would, I would do something like that. Just, I'll be like. Just pick it up, and then if they pick it up, I'm just like, just put it down, put that shit down, don't bite, yeah, don't let it bite you, you know, like, cause what if I have rabies? But I'm paying the bill. Exactly, I am too. Like, I'm, like just to see if they're gonna do it, but not yeah. so, no, like, crazy shit, like, jump off the fucking roof, like. I'm paying the bill. I'm paying the hospital shit? bill. What are we talking about? I'm I'm good. Good. I'm I'm also, I, I work with Lizzo. Drink up. I'm good. See, I'm that's it. I drank mine. Oh, guys, not in the drinking mood tonight. Cool, awesome. Listen, I got 
Ooh. How's the peach one though? Oh. I'm gonna try the peach. I got. Oh. I got. <laughs> Yo, I got spice. <laughs> Thank you, Tsuki. <laughs> Cause like, bro. <laughs> Anyway, I got spiked Arizona's for twenty dollars, and these motherfuckers don't want to drink. That's not right. They good though. Next time, it's Sunny D and vodka seltzers. <laughs> I'm surprised you ain't find them yet. Yo, no, me I too. Them. They're at Walmart. I I, I see They're them. At Walmart. I I have a visual. How of are them. they at Walmart if Walmart doesn't sell alcohol? No, here in the south. In the south, okay, that's different. You didn't specify that. Cause you go in, you going all the way to a Walmart down south just to get some Sunny D seltzers. Kayla, lay off me, all right. <laughs> you can probably find it at a, like one of the larger like liquor stores out here, like the one in, in Attleboro, Attleboro type shit. Yeah. They sell it in, in stores in, in Mass, right? Pat, just order that shit. You can probably get a order. shit to your crib. Just <laughs> I'm all set on drinking that anyway. Nah, like, <laughs> it's either that or root beer floats. Pick your point. Oh, root, I'm root not drinking float. either one. Root beer float. Y'all can beer float. off the shelf. Root beer float. I don't root care. Float. Root beer float. Yo, we're gonna have one day. I'm gonna bring out root beer floats, and Kayla's gonna be so <laughs> fucking tight. <laughs> and I want the camera to close up on her. She's gonna pull a little bit like bro. drink it now. She's just bro. Gonna, no, I'm not. She's gonna, gonna be so fucking. I I already see her face. I'm she's not, gonna be like, are you fucking serious? I'm not drinking. As soon as the camera's cut off, it's she's okay. gonna cut my head off. Bro. I'm telling you, guys can drink root beer floats. I'm just I'm not drinking it that week. You gotta try it. I've already tried it, and I'm all set. You, you gotta nah, try you gotta it. try it on the on the show. You gotta try Drew's group. Just like, I'm all set. Just like you tried <laughs> Sex in the Driveway, you can drive for beer float. Like, just try it. I will see when the day comes. Alright, but uh, yeah, it was the Lizzo shit. Um, Crazy, bro. Yeah, fires are still breaking out throughout. Europe. I don't know mm -hmm. like, what the fuck is going on out there. Um, it's yeah. not riots. It's yeah. not anything you like just, that. It's like the weather, man. Every, every week. Yeah, there's a there's a fire somewhere, you know. Bro, like yeah. nah, but for real, like, it's though. wildfires, and it's crazy because it's like the environment, no, it guys. Is, it's though. the climate. It's, yeah. It's we're gonna crazy. die. I was actually watching um the news played earlier, and I was gonna um say about that shit um about like all the charges that fucking Donald Trump is getting. I don't like politics, but I literally just heard that shit in the background, and I was like, oh my god. Um, but then like there was also a segment on um like we're literally we right now the way we consume natural resources for the amount of people that are living on Earth. We need 1.7 planets, like Earth planets, to sustain the way we live on a daily basis. Did you guys get that? So we basically need almost two other Earths. We to... need another whole Earth yeah. to continue to sustain us for a few more years, basically. Like, with the way that we consume natural resources. like. If we wanted to continue to consume them in that way, like so high. Nuts. Nuts. We're literally like cutting down the time that we have on Earth by half, basically. Yeah. So if like 50 years ago we still had like 500 years left, now we only have like 250 years left. And that's probably, I think, I'm pretty sure it's less, less than that. Like, I'm about to look this shit up. How many years do we have left on Earth? Can we not? Like, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's true. It's a, tr it's a true happening. It's a very true happening. Fuck, man. I mean, maybe you the, you the host. Maybe you could change the goddamn topic. What the hell? I mean, she's, she's taking it. How long do we have left on Earth due to global warming? About 11 years. What? 11 years? Um. um what? I mean, what's, I, mean what's, I don't know about 11 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, in my opinion, it doesn't have to happen in my time. Double impass it on. <laughs> Double impass it. 
Mm. I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens when we get to that point. 11 years? Because 10 years ago they were talking about 2012. They, 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 happened, they, so. they, they, say, like, they say it all the time, so it's like... We'll see. I know. It's I'm like, it's like it, they always say, like, oh yeah, and this, and on this day, this is going to happen, and it's always going to end, and it's like, oh. okay, we get there, and you're like, bro, it's sunny outside, what are you talking about? The that climate, is real though. There's a climate change. That clock. is real the in New York. The climate. I've seen it. Yeah, the climate clock. Um, to reverse, um, yeah, yeah, global warming. Um, uh, warn. Well, on Monday. Um, supposedly this past Monday. Or wait, when is this post from? This post is from 2020. Mm -hmm. In 2020, life Earth life expen expectancy was seven years. Seven years, 101 <clears throat> days, 70 hours, 29 minutes, and 22 seconds. And we are now in 2023. So and you're saying four more years. I wouldn't be surprised that it's horrible. Yeah, I'm we'll, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll I'm see sad now. <laughs> I don't want to think about that anymore. We'll see what happens. Four more years? What the fuck, man? We have 11 Ooh, years we'll be, left. We'll be 30. What the fuck? In 2019, we'll, we'll I said see. 11 years left. We have 11 years left. 2019. We'll see what happens. I don't believe it, but... I don't believe it. Anything I do. can happen. I definitely believe that. They um, found aliens and all that good shit, so... Yep. They, they, they found... Like, our lives they can literally found change aliens from like one day to another. We, we, already, we already knew. We've seen yeah, the picture already. We, we're adaptable. As our generation has gone through so much change, like we are very, very adaptable. Yeah, we are. Yeah, like TikTok. We're just gonna TikTok the all the way through it. So that's yeah, scary. Right? Yeah, that's um, that's scary. Um, <laughs> that is scary. When you it how out. much natural resources yeah, no more. are left <laughs> yeah. on Earth? I just wanna. Kayla's bringing us down the rabbit hole right now. Yeah, yeah. Taking, uh, taking it. Go ahead. Taking into consideration the current rate of natural gas production and current known natural gas reserves, we have about 552.8 years worth of natural gas reserves left. We still have gas and coal left by the time oil runs out in 2052. How old will we be in 2052? 55. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the, I mean, as they will be here, just far, you know, you said 50. Yeah. Have you noticed more and more people are making it past 100 years old? Yeah. yeah. Good. That's scary. Because health is, yeah, like our health care is gotten so much better. I mean, that's where we're not dying thing. from disease and stuff. No, that's not a young good age. thing. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Well, it's kind of not because there's because more people Because you're overpopulating the earth. the earth. Yeah. People are supposed to be born just like they're supposed to die. If people are living past their expectancy, they are taking up space that is so meant that's for not, the new people that are supposed to be born. But, the, but, the, but that's not... The kids house. Yeah, but that's not, that's not on any uh, older person that, oh damn, well, I, sh I should just, you know, take my life because someone else got to live. I mean, it's not, you're not you're that's not. That. You're it's not. You're just 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 not. You're
So now, is it your fault because you wanted to change your lifestyle at an older age? No. I can't do anything, sorry. So, alright, so what you just chalked it up to is, fuck it, if the earth gets overpopulated, sorry. <laughs> Pretty but much, it's right? But it's already Pretty much, right? It's been happening. No, 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 no. That's what you just chalked it up to. And that's the issue. Is, that is the know, issue, what we're talking about. It's nothing, the issue. But the, the issue is the fact that as society, we do not know how to take care of our earth and use the resources that we have and reuse them and be more creative and just like execute things in a way that will allow us to reduce, reuse, recycle what we have and extend like our resources and make new ones, honestly. like. And that's the thing, there's no issue with people living past their expectancy, but the realization of the situation is the more people on this earth, the more the resources are con being consumed more and more quickly each and every single day. So, How do we so no, 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 no. Let, me, let, me, let me hear this, let me hear this. able to continue Earth's life while your fucking us ass. as a generation and your fucking just ass. Live on okay. Earth also so, okay. live on here. So, that's not... Oh, no, that's not us. That's not silly. Thing. No, all right. So I have something. So you say no, it's I think the that was actually there. No, that's downstairs. Because that would have been a lot louder. It's not. It's downstairs. No, all right. So you're saying it's the it's people not treating the earth properly. So that's why we don't have enough resources. But that's not that's not on people. That's just living because of the we don't have enough resources. That's just not treating people. People are still kind of oh yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. He didn't knock hard enough. I'm like, my fucking hurt. Diggy. <laughs> yeah. But that's not on... But that's just humans just treating the earth wrong for... Because they're not... They're over... We're just over polluting whatever we feel like and not throwing things away properly not treating things properly. But that's not on humans populating themselves. That's two different things. Yeah, are we overpopulating? Yes, but we can't be like... Oh, these people have to go, or these Ain't people shouldn't be. But I'm, but I'm saying you can't just be like, oh, well, yeah, we're overpopulated because you know the older generation is still living. But, I mean, we are, and but, it's fact, so but it's, it's not, a valid point. But what do you? But there's nothing we can really do about that. That's what exactly. we're saying. It's but we're saying, saying there's, there's nothing we can nothing do about we can it. Do about this it. is what I'm, at, I'm saying. That, you guys took it to no the extreme no, and no, ran no, with it. But, but we're there's saying there's no but to that. But, it is but what that's, it is. It but happens. That's, but that's what we're saying. It's it's happening. You can't do anything about it. So, but you can't say. Just say fucking just twist our words and, and agree because with you. Shut up! 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 Shut because the older people are just still living, basically. Well, yeah, that's so, that, so. Is that not a fact? So what are they supposed to do? So you many babies are being so, born every so, day, and so right. many old you guys are in, to live. So, you guys are insinuating that's what I was meaning, bro. So, that's not what I said. That never came out my mouth. That's what you I never said there needs to be a mass extermination for I, all no, old people, no one said and that. there needs to be new space for mother. No, I never said that shit. You but all to, took it to that extreme. I want to nuke the whole population of old people. Now here he go. I'm no, fucking dead. <laughs> but no, but again, the point of it was that I'm making is just because they're still living better than themselves, they can't do anything about that. So if they're still here and people are more people are just growing, if a life not it being if the life isn't gone but another one is still being created, that's not on them. They're bettering themselves. So yeah, the, our, the earth is getting worse. But more people are here. Yeah, it's overpopulated. We already knew that. Google what's the average life expectancy. Kayla took it up. Kayla took it somewhere. A crazy rabbit hole right now. I so Drew. I know. I really so did. Kayla took it. Kayla took it. Took, took us down this rabbit hole for no reason. What are you saying? Expectancy is seventy seven. Seventy seven. When I get seventy seven, then I'll just die. Yeah. All right. Seventy five. You're cutting it a little bit. I'm I'm taking too much space. I gotta die. Exactly. Like fuck it. Because that's that's literally what y'all put the words in my mouth. I never even fucking said that. And if you rewind this shit, you will see I never said that shit. First off, the problem is that this earth is overpopulated. Also, you got to take into account, we are overpopulated to the point 
where we are kicking other fucking species on this planet and pushing them to extinction. Yeah. Just because we are overpopulating their Space. areas, bro. Mm -hmm. Fuck them gators. Anyway. Yeah. It's I'm, an issue. I'm, I'm sorry I took you guys down the rabbit this hole. Is, this is anyway, what's the video. word of the day today? Yeah, fuck you, Tariq. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kayla's fault in particular. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, just blame it on me. No, I like that <laughs> debate though. That we went from we went from Lizzo to we went eating. from meditating so to also, Lizzo yeah, for eating bananas and people's I don't know, and then climate. We only have eleven years left on Earth, guys. We were really about to fight. <laughs> <laughs> You're always on your side on this, bro. I was because like, they, what the fuck? they took uh, this, this to tag team, the fucking Hardy to, Brothers over they here. Uh, uh, they <laughs> Look at Jeff and Matt over here. Trolling as a fuck. Once I see Tweet start going, I'm like, I just gotta be trolling as a fuck. See, I'm Jeff, I'm Jeff, I'm Jeff Hardy. He's Matt Hardy. He's a kid. I'm fucking get him, screaming. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say I'm more Jeff Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm more Jeff. You guys are crazy. No. I'm dead. <laughs> the word, anyway, the word of the day, ladies and gentlemen, is brining. Brining. Right? There we go. Maybe yeah, that you should, you should do that for little people. It's brining. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Who else is is that? Yo, who is that? Yo. Everybody want to come during the podcast, right? Come on in. It's, it's the Mix and Pop podcast. Come uh, on, you here now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. Brian, ladies and gentlemen. Brian, live audience joining us. Okay. Wait, you didn't do that Halfway way. through the show. No, I didn't do Brian yet. I'm nah, awesome. we haven't done that. Yo, he loves trolling, bro. Yeah, he really, I love that. Him. You know nah, he show. looked at me for the confirmation, Just too. I see. I know what he's doing. Brian oh, is this is hilarious. Brian is basically the process of infusing proteins with salt, sugar, and other flavors such as herbs and spices. What it basically does is it tenderizes and moisturizes your proteins. Uh, <laughs> Uh, basically, what you do is you take your protein and basically soak it into liquid with, which could be you know water, uh, stock, beer, apple juice, orange juice, salt-based liquid, liquid, mm -hmm. some, exactly with some salt, sugar, which is like your main base, and then you add you know some peppercorns, star anise, um, spices, spices, sage, any, sage any kind Herbs. of rosemary, exactly, mm -hmm. any kind of thyme, peppercorn. You already said it. Pink peppercorns. I got you. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Szechuan. Szechuan peppercorns. You could do. You could throw oh, yeah. in there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, some cinnamon you could throw in there. Hell yeah. Anything you could throw, just throw into a brine, basically. Um, you basically just want to have your proteins just submerged into it, and you can let it sit. You know, sit. You know, a few hours. You know, twenty four hours overnight. However long you want. Um, example of proteins would basically be like turkey, chicken. Uh, fish, steaks, duck, duck, definitely. Um, ports, definitely. Uh, Venice, you can do. Um, what did you say? Venice. Oh, I said Venice, but Venice, Venice. Venice, like Venice, Italy, 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 Anyway, <laughs> so brining uh, is only for brine. for proteins, yeah. For the most part, you really, I mean, you would normally just brine like your proteins and stuff like that. So let me ask you a question then. <clears throat> Go ahead. If you were basically doing the same technique but with a vegetable, what would that be called? Pickling. Pickling. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. She asked. She asking like niggas is dumb. Like, yeah, what's wrong with her? Well, uh, ask her something hard. Like, I'm just asking what does gluten question? mean? I'm just asking. What's the definition of gluten? We've done gluten. Gluten is a protein that consists You're done. of. Anyway. <laughs> she knows it. But of course she knows it. <laughs> Face <laughs> ass. Oh. Um. <laughs> Here you go, bro. <laughs> nah, now you're pulling it up. Oh, um, what is it? Okay. No. What, what is gumbo? <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's all I gotta say. A substance present in cereal grains. I eat cereal all the time. I eat that shit dry. It's responsible for the what fuck? type of the texture and though. Wait. It's responsible we're, we're, for wait, what we type we of texture. We're not doing gluten already. Okay. But, but right. So then you answer the question, Tariq. 
It's responsible for what type of we texture? We done gluten already, all right? We're on to brining. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you don't know, huh? Look, look, I'm in charge of the word of the day. We did gluten. We did what we did. You look my little bit. We did gluten like episode 17. This is text. We're, we're talking to the same kid that wanted a mass extinction for. Oh my all, god. All, 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 all right, let's continue, y'all. So, brining. No. Uh, proteins. No. Yo! Why are you hit me? You hit Fucking tickled him or fucking. Jimmy, he tickled him. Like, what the fuck? You just poked him like. All I see is you going like this. <laughs> oh no, I was just gonna say, uh, I've brined like turkeys and stuff like that, like every, for Thanksgiving and stuff like that. That's for like that's like the biggest. That's like the only time I really do it for, for the most part. We brined pheasant when we were in um, Katarina. Really? Yeah, I remember him bringing in the pheasant. He had two pheasants. And literally, I'd never seen them in my life before. I was like, what kind of bird is that? I dead ass thought it was a peacock off rip. Like, I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker took my peacocks. <laughs> and he was like, it's pheasant. And um, <clears throat> they put it in the hot water. And then they fucking took all the feathers off and everything like that. And, like uh, the whole thing was like still. Like the whole Jesus. fucking thing, head on, eyes closed. Like, Sheesh. I was like, damn. Like, dipped it in that hot ass water. I've never seen some shit like that before. And they literally were just rubbing it. Like, and feathers were just falling right off of that mm -hmm. shit. And then uh, they cleaned Isn't it. Isn't that basically like a, a food hazard zone? Because you're putting that in hot water. Um, I don't know. How? How's that food hazard? You're raising the temperature inside of the protein. I mean, water. in a way, but I feel like you're just, di you're really just dipping it to um, get that, the feathers I mean, out. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't sitting in the Oh, in the okay, water. that's what I'm thinking. Like, nah, he like, it was like fucking oh, scolding like hot, and he it. dipped okay. it, and then like, literally okay, like, that's just different. Okay. Yeah. okay. Like, I don't think they just sit it in there, because yeah, that would make sense. They would just be cooking it at that That's what I'm saying, and I'm like, what the fuck? Boiling the bitch there. <laughs> exactly, bro, like, but, um, what the fuck? Nah, like, they dipped it in the, he had a cambro full of water, mm -hmm. dipped that shit in there, started ripping off the feathers and shit like that, they came off easily, mm -hmm. and then after, he just sat them in a fucking, uh, you know, he tied them up in the walk-in and had them hanging upside down for, like, a couple of days, and, and then dry, he, dried out, and then dried out a little yeah, bit, little yeah. Brush, like that, yeah. Yeah, and then he cut off the heads, so put that shit in a brine. Yeah. Have you guys ever done it with seafood? Mm-mm. do it with seafood, too. What would you brine? Uh, of? fish, yeah, probably. Fish? What fish would you, what, what what would be the brine of with the fish? I I feel like it would be kind of close to how we do like poaching basically. I feel like you can probably do like salmon or whatever. Poach salmon in like a court bouillon. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure if like, cause again, cause again, when you have like your brine and stuff, like you're not like keeping it on, like. Once it comes to the boil for whatever, you like, all right, you turn it off and you pour it into your, your. Um, Have you guys ever had brine fish though before? Mm -hmm. That's uh, not. That's like an unheard thing. This website is showing. Yeah. Chris, you ever had brine fish? No. And that's a thing though. She. I've had fermented fish, but not brine. Huh? Smoke. I mean, smoke fish, cold smoke and stuff like that. But I mean. Yeah, I'm thinking about. It. I've never had brine fish before. If anyone came up to me, and it's pretty much just a salt sugar base, right? Yeah, it's, our, yeah. it's a salt <clears throat> sugar solution, yeah. basically. Um, yeah, dissolving the sugar and salt into a, a bowl of water, combining any desired seasonings. So regular brine. So it's just the, the same. solution cool to room temperature, and then submerging the fish um, for at least two hours or overnight. Hmm. Um, remove Actually, the fish. Rinse thoroughly, let yeah. air dry in the refrigerator yeah. for an hour before smoking, grilling, or pan searing. Bronzi bronzino you can do? You're brining bronzino? Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Fish brine. I've never seen that. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Well, brining, ladies and gentlemen, that's the word of the day. That was a good, good topic. Yeah. We still need a button, though. I know. I know. We'll mm. work on that. We're still working on it. All right, uh, let's get into the topic of discussion for today. Um, favorite vacays. Favorite vacation. Favorite yeah. vacation. Yeah, it's that time of year, summertime and stuff. You know, everyone's going on vacation, you know. Um, 
Start, start with you, Drew. There you go. Some of your vacation moments. What the fuck? Um, so, uh, the first one was, actually, you know what, the craziest thing was, my no. favorite, one of my favorite vacations That's just one one. was the one with, uh, that e ended up having me at my externship. So, I went to, I believe we went to Disney that year, yeah. We went to Disney World and Universal, all that good shit. But it was just me, my mom, and my sister. And uh, we stayed at the Grand Lakes, the Marriott, uh, Ritz-Carlton Grand Lakes Resort. And, like, staying there was fucking chef's kiss, like, literally. And I was just like, yo, like, I gotta go back. Like, I gotta go back there, bro. Like, it was lit. And then when we went to CIA, and they were like, yeah, you can pick anywhere in the world you want to work. And I was like, oh, fuck it. I want to work at the Grand Lakes Resort. Went there. Bro, that's when I fucking learned that lesson. Like I said before, like there's a difference between staying somewhere and working somewhere. Bro. Mm -hmm. And bro, when they told, they took me to those fucking back doors and them hallways was just gray with white walls. And I said, what the fuck kind of resort is this? <laughs> you know? Fucking Chris, you remember that shit? Ceilings were leaking after every fucking thunderstorm they had, like flooding. Literally. The rooms are pristine, but hell yeah, on the, the other side, oh my god, it looks like a hellhole. It looks like a third world country on the other end Literally. of those doors. But like, yeah, like it was, it was an experience to stay there. It was fucking, like I said, chef's kiss. Working there, there were definitely some fucking good fun moments. There's some definitely good notable people that I met and still know till this day and still are in communication. Chad, this is one of them. But um, yeah, like. So the, the greatest vacation you ever had was the place you end up working at. Yeah. That was one of them, I said. I didn't say that was the greatest one. Damn, <laughs> I still didn't take the greatest vacation. The greatest vacation for me will be when we all go to fucking Australia. When we all go down on that. Yeah. 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 And everybody's yeah. fucking scared because, Oh, I don't want to get bit by a spider. Fuck it, you're in Australia. I love how you say it. everybody's scared. <laughs> you know? I, every time I keep saying, get your passport, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This guy. See? <laughs> hey, yo! Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Yo, sh Kayla, shut the fuck up. Nobody fucking saw that from me. <laughs> Kayla, shut the fuck up. Anyway, favorite, my second. Oh, my man. My second other vacation. That was great. Um, my. <laughs> My second other favorite vacation was fucking Hershey Park. Everybody should fucking know that. And all my friends around me, you guys are all fucking fake because you know I wanted to go to Hershey Park for some years' time. And, and, and no one took me. No one fucking wants to go. No one's like, yo, Drew, you know what? Fuck it. I got the weekend off. Let's take a seven hour drive to fucking Hershey, Pennsylvania and go to Hershey Park. Nobody. No fucking buddy. Seven hours. <laughs> seven hours. Jesus seven Christ. Hours. Right? Drew, you think we love you that much, bro? Jesus. Like, god damn it. I said I'd pitch in for a fucking gas. Bro. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not driving. <laughs> seven hours. Hey, bugging out. Nah, but Hershey Park was lit. Like, that's a fucking vibe. I, I only want to go there again because I've only been there one time. So, yeah. We'll go there one day. Yeah. Fuck off. I'll take my own fucking self and my kids at that time. Fuckers. He said, fuck you guys. Boogers, not those kids. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's crazy because one of them are going to be your guard child, so. Your guard child? Yeah, yeah he's going to be his yeah, guard child. That's the guard. That's the, guard. That's the, one, that's the one that's going to have boogers just dripping down his nose, yep. too. Yeah, I'm going to give you a special. Like, Uncle Rick, um, can I get a tissue? Uncle to Rick, I want the new Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> that's my kid, that's my kid. Kayla, what's your favorite <laughs> Anyway, speaking of a seven hour drive, um, I'm actually really excited because I'm going on a little trip to Maryland in October. What the fuck? No invite? It's a weekend trip. I'm just going for a wedding. What the fuck? No invite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, it's like my girl's friend, like old co-worker. What the um, fuck? We know her. Yeah, no invite? she was invited, so she's like, babe, hey, we're going. I was like, okay, cool. It's, it's, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, wait a minute. When are you going back to Columbia? I'm not sure. I wanted to go in December this year, but we'll see. What's her name that's going to be married? I don't know. 
The no 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 your friend that invited you down there. Uh, it's not my friend. It's my girl's friend. It's your girl's friend. Yes. Yeah. What's your name again? My girl's name. No no no. I know your girl's name. My friend's name. Yeah. I don't know which friend. I think we know her because we're supposed to be going on that trip with you. <laughs> You're just bullshitting it. <laughs> It's like, nah, I do want to go to a wedding. We're going to Eli's wedding, though, in October, I believe, right? Right, Chris? Yeah, Eli's getting married. Nice. Ooh. Good friend. And then, um, what's it called? Oh, fuck. Eli is getting married, but then Matt is <coughs> in a baby shower. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. It's around the same time? And I'm, I have to go down there because I'm... You the godfather. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And they were asking me last night, uh, when's a good time for you to come back down after the uh, baby shower for the christening? And I'm like, oh, you're not even a uh, Godfather responsibility. They're gonna have to find someone to do that for the baptism and stuff. Cause you not a man. Cause I'm not a what? So Caleb, back to you know. What is he talking about? I don't know what he's trying. To I'm say. baptized, motherfucker. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you know who my mother is, bro? Like, what? Caleb, back to you. Yo, back Kathy again. prays on the blood of Jesus over her children, bro. Like, never forget that. And okay. she told me she prays on the blood of Jesus over everyone in this fucking room, too, bro. Like, especially you, Tariq. She said you need it most. Anyway, back to you, Caleb. Anyway, so when do I go back to Columbia? That's a great question. Um, Yeah, I really wanted to go back in December, but we'll see. Um, I may be going to Puerto Rico in December, so we'll see, um, which that'd be dope as hell, you know, just to go back to PR. I actually haven't been back since after we graduated college. That was actually my parents' graduation trip, or present for me, it was a, a little family trip to PR. That was cool. Um, but yeah. I, I just wanted to ask you a question. So you, you have the wedding, and then you have Puerto Rico, right? Me, yeah, well, it's not set in stone yet. No, not yet. It's an idea, okay, as a Christmas, like birthday, Christmas gift. Word, and then is there anything after that? No, no, not as of so. When, far. when in between there were you sitting in Hershey Park? Um, <laughs> I thought he was gonna say Australia, but <laughs> Australia, no, when we're going to Hershey before we go When you get your fucking passport, is when we're going to Australia. Yeah, exactly. Now you come down. I asked for her. She <laughs> <laughs> fucking does. It's like nah, but I will get my passport. But for real, I really want to go to Hershey Park. Yeah, no, Hershey Park, me. we can do it. Take me. We should go for your birthday, bro. Like, no. It's just. He said no. Just do it. I'm up. going to date show. Sorry. No. Yeah, she fucked you. She fucked you on that one. That's I it. mean, that's okay. That's okay. You're forgiven. It's a day party, you feel me? Do they always do day trail twice a year? Yeah. Well, no. The first couple years, they only, <coughs> I believe the first year, they only did one installation. And then the second year, they started doing both installations. One at the beginning of the summer and one at the end of the summer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I think the second year, I was only able to make it to the one at um, the Alex Sanani Center. And then... Uh, Two years ago, the last one that I went to, I went to the India Point Park one, which they usually always do Alex Anani now. Because the first one that I ever went to was actually at the Steel Yard okay. on Sim Street. All right. And then, um, yeah, and then the second one I went to was at the Alex Anani Center, and then um, this last one at, like I just said, India Point, which that's the one I'm going to again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that they, that's what they've been doing. Yellow, yellow Cup is one. I'm not sure when Yellow Cup is. That's like more. I think like Yellow Cup has the regular. No, Yellow Cup is like beginning of. Yeah, it's summer. Like beginning of summer. summer. Oh. Yeah, Yellow it's, Cup I think is already done. And yeah. I, I think this past year wasn't it done or last? Was it done at um? It was somewhere in Providence too, but I can't remember like the convention center or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't I've never been any of them. Sure, yeah. Freak Nick. Yes. Yes, I would like to go to that. Four, four one two. Freak Nick. Right. Freak Nick. Oh, well, Freak Joel, of course you're going to go one Freak Nick. Oh, that's the real Freak Nick. The real ones are <laughs> <freak. laughs> Bro, no one just heard what she said, bro. Yeah, she said true. Lizzo going to be there serving people bananas. Oh, shit. I'm Jesus. screaming. Yeah, that was funny as well. Jesus. I'm screaming. 
Um, so funny. Uh, favorite vacation, Tariq? Yeah. Um, Jamaica. I already know. No. You and Kayla. Oh, wow. Okay. Screw you. Mm. No, don't touch me. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, I would probably say I would probably say DR. DR? DR. When did oh. you go to DR? Two years ago. DR over Jamaica. Yeah, you're wild. Yes. Y'all had fun in Jamaica. I had, we I had, we had we had a lot of fun in Jamaica. We we literally was in Jamaica like last week. This like last week mm -hmm. last year basically. Well, this so, week last year. I saw you last. Well, it was like it was like last. Week. Uh, about the same. Yeah, about the same basically. Um. My only issue with Jamaica was there was just so many of us, so it was like hard to like get everyone together to do the same exact like excursion or when we went out to like the one restaurant in Jamaica, it wasn't that great yeah. and it was just I too should... it was too much that was going on. That was like so my only issue. That, that not going on four wheelers. Exactly. That's so like story. but like where like it was and it, I'm not saying it wasn't fun at all. It was great to have family, like the family and stuff like that, especially the ones in New York, like it was great having everyone there, but when we when we did DR, it was literally there wasn't that many of us, and it was a lot easier for us to be like, yo, you want to do this? Or yo, if I want to walk away, I can walk away and be like, I'm fine, and it's not running to, you know, my little cousin or something like that. Or, you know, one one excursion that we wanted to do a horseback ride on the beach. Horseback I've been horseback riding before, but in a closed um in a closed like circuit. I've always wanted to do it at the beach. Mm -hmm. Like on the beach side? Or just like through like some mountains. That you know. shit would be fucking fun. Fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was going to say my favorite vacation was actually the the year that I went to Columbia when I turned 16. Uh, and I actually went paragliding over the mountains of that's Columbia. Tough. You know what I'm saying? I've never oh, told you that before. No, yup. That's tough. That's yep, tough yep. I have a video coming off of the thing, like landing. And then coming. I, yo, I threw up in the air. Because he was doing like like some little like fucking like twist, right? And so I was like going up and dipping down and going up and dipping down. And I was like, uh-uh. I was like, hold on a fucking second. I'm like, you need to chill. And I was like, I'm about to fucking puke right now because my stomach is sick. And he was like, just do what you got to do. Like go over and just, you know, lean over the edge. And I'm like, Ugh. I let that shit out. And then I felt great. But it was because obviously the house was... Random people on the, on the no. Ground. We were just over trees, like tr like it was just mountainous area, like it wasn't over people, like <laughs> like, 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 like we we took off no, like uh, Kayla and they took, have fun this nigga over here is crazy. We took off. She said, "What?" Oh no! You said just lean to the side. That ass. I was like, I already know Kayla didn't even lean. Nah, fuck that. Kayla didn't even lean to the side. She just turned her head. Mm mm. So it just does. I was like, yo, I, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, yo, hold on, hold on a second. Oh, he's like, shit. he's like, yo, I, I was like, oh, I don't really feel that good. He was like, you can do what you got to do, just like lean over the side, and I was like, yeah, and I just let it out because <laughs> I had to go. <laughs> that's our new sound, bro. <laughs> gotta yo, put that. Gotta put that put that shit no on the fucking roller casting. Oh my no, god. But, but yeah, like it was, it was honestly, it was fucking crazy. Like just being like so high up in the air and like, like thinking back on it now, it's kind of scary. Like it's literally just a parachute, like as a backpack, right? But so like you put one on and then it has like straps that like like attach, right? But it's like right? it's a big ass backpack. It's like a seat, right? Mm. At that point. And um yeah, the 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 guy that like like took me up in the air, he also had one. He like hooked his shit on, like attached it, and then we literally we ran off the edge of the mountain. And he was like, he was like, he was like when I tell you to lift your legs, lift your legs. He was like, we we have to run like full speed, like you gotta just go. I was like, okay. And so um yeah, we did like we started running, and then um you know like he just like he he put it up, and then like I, he was like lift your legs like simultaneously, and he like put the parachute up, and so like we just kind of started gliding right, and like we yeah 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 it was pretty it was fucking crazy honestly, um and then it was like really dope too just being able to like glide over the mountains and like seeing all the people down below and like the cars and you could like wave to them and shit. I wish I had like a GoPro. Or like something to you know have captured that footage of being up in the air. Yeah. But <laughs> regardless, it was dope as shit. It'd be dope to do that in Rio. Ooh, yes. I would love to I would yeah, yeah, over the ocean, like over the yeah, water. Over the mm -hmm. favelas, all that yep, shit. Yup, all of that. Mm -hmm. The city and shit. Mm -hmm. Yes. That shit would be dope. That shit would be so Brazil. dope. I would love to do yeah. that. I wanna go to go Brazil, Brazil to go mining yeah. for like crystals and like 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 stones and shit. 
Brazil's probably. Why don't a lot of people go to Brazil? I feel like lady a lot of people boys. go to Brazil. Huh? A lot of lady, lady boys, you know. Okay. But I want to go to Thailand. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're you're. Lady boys. Huh? You see my next destination? Australia. Or your favorite. Oh my. Your fa favorite. Down in Thailand. Yeah. I mean, it would, be, it would be DR and then Jamaica. Jamaica, oh, okay. Jamaica, I think, probably had the better food. Um, Jamaica had better food? Yeah, I would say Jamaica had the better food. But DR, but DR, I think, overall, like, was just a little a little better. Okay. Um, again, I had no, I didn't really have any issues. Because honestly, we did, we did do ATVs last year, mm. which were fire. Um, I thought he just said... You guys didn't do ATVs. No, he didn't get to do it because he, he left early. Yes, and that, that was is true. Very long. Y'all did that, say that. Which, it, which again, that. which kind of sucked. Mm -hmm. that he, uh, he, if he was, the, I did. I wish he was still there because he would have fun. But I feel like because there's again so many people, where it's like we're saying, yeah, we'll do it this day, but oh no, yeah, we'll do it this day. There's so much going on with like we had like twenty plus people there yeah. last year, so it was kind of like. So Exactly. So again, he didn't get to do it because so much things going on. Then he had to go home the day we were doing it. So right. I mean, if it was less of us and he was there, like we would have did it the day before the last. But yeah, D. I think Dr. was probably the better one for me. Um, yeah, no. Where's the next? Place? You said you're probably going to Puerto Rico, trying to go to. Back yeah, to I mean, I'm. I know I'm, I'm definitely going to Maryland. Um, I'm probably going to PR at the uh, end of the year. If not, maybe like January, February of next year. You said you want to go to Australia. Is that is that all right? Is there anyone else before you want to go to Australia, or you just want to go to Australia first? Jersey Park. No, I'm saying <laughs> overseas. Outside uh, of the U.S. Um, no, Australia. Just off the bat. Off the bat, no, actually, you know, I really want to visit, I want to visit Amsterdam. Yeah, I want to go to the UK. I want to go, yeah, I do want to go there, but I heard their food is shit, so, mm. like, I'll be eating <coughs> mostly fries out there, probably. My whole cuisine would just be fries. Oh my Chips, God. yeah. It, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Italy's great, but... Italy, yeah, I want to visit, but they got Canada? the fire thing going on. I do want to actually visit Germany, too. Germany, I heard, is a pr pretty lit-ass place, mm -hmm. for real, for real. No, it's that's dead, bro. Like they don't do that shit anymore. Oh my god, bro. Um, but um, but other than that, what I really do want to visit is Australia or New Zealand. Like New Zealand's not as dangerous, but it's kind of like Australia. So like, fuck it. Yeah. Papua um, New Guinea. Right. I I wanted I want to try to go to Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a place. Brazil is definitely somewhere I would want to. Brazil, go. talk to shit. Um, you can speak Portuguese out there if we went out there. No. So we're fucked. Yeah. I actually awesome. said. Um, <laughs> That's why I said on the I actually said thank you and um, like nice day to a Portuguese lady on Monday or on yesterday on Tuesday yesterday morning when I went to. Uh, it's basically like just a little Portuguese <coughs> empanada bakery spot. Mm. Um, but yeah, them empanadas be smacking. Really? They're fucking huge. They're, they're huge. Stuff. They're like fucking I'm huge empanadas. Awesome. They're like three fifty each. Three dollars and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. I eat. I be like eating one, maybe two really max, good. and I'm good. Yeah, and I have my little cafecito. But we was in the drive thru and I could tell like she was Portuguese because her accent was really thick. And so like obviously like I spoke to her like in English, but then like when I like she gave me my food and like I was all set, I was about to drive off. I was just like obrigada, bom dia. Mm -hmm. Just like thank yeah, you, have a good day. Uh, yeah. Obrigada. Well, the Creole. Yeah. 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 Like, Cape Verdeans. Yeah. Yeah. Obrigado. Kind of like a that mix, right? Yeah. I'm gonna learn that shit. I'm gonna get fluent. I'm gonna tell my wife to teach me that shit, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. It's so I'm great to I'm know like multiple languages. I'm gonna be just like you, brother. Wow, I think that's our episode. I'm Haitian too, bro. All right, get off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is uh, our show because obviously people are avoiding the fact that I want to go to Hershey Park, so they want to get the fuck off the sure. airwaves. Um, let's go ahead and, and tell them where they can find you at. Let's let's start off with you, Terry. Well, you can find me at Prep Metcalf Field on Hawkins Ave this Saturday from 12 to 4, beating some lot of detailing in our softball game slash book bag drive. Right, Drew? 
I'm going to be there, yeah, hell yeah, and I'm going to be center field starting, yeah. Catch me there. Okay. He just went. Yeah, you did. I don't know if it's they can see there. that. They can see that. Yeah, I mean, audio listeners. listeners. No, I'm gonna actually be there. I have to be there because if I'm not there, then who's gonna play center field? Right. Play? Exactly. There's no backup, right? Right. There's no backup, right? Gotta yeah, do your duties. We have we have two subs. <coughs> two subs for yeah. center field. That's fucked. I'm just saying in general, I'm not just well, for your position. That's crazy. You know, Darius is a little sick right now. Oh boy. The one sub. Nah, that's some craziness. Oh boy. All right, well, yeah, uh, Saturday, uh, softball game slash book out drive, Shut Street Company, detailing. Uh, if you guys would like to still donate and sponsor, you know, there's plenty of time still. Um, you guys can just DM me and Solano Detailing. Uh, ShutStreetCompany.com. What is your problem? I'm sorry, Tariq. Wow, Bye. like Tariq's really giving his exit speech and you're sitting here interrupt. Bro, carry on. I know, right? The nerve of some people. Yeah, ShatterYourCompany.com. That is my website. Check it out. <laughs> you grab your catering and milk preps. <laughs> Why? I didn't even do Jesus, anything. Jesus, can we close it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Shatter.co on Instagram and TikTok. Miss on Shatter 11 a.m. this Sunday. Really? Why do you have to be that close? I see what you're doing, kid. Oh, Jesus. Uh, in Red Lounge this Friday and Saturday, 6 to 10 p.m. Go ahead. All right, you can find me on IG. I love you, Drew, on Instagram. And you can also find me at Second Human on Instagram. And you can also find me on the Mixing Pop podcast with my wonderful, wonderful co hosts. I cannot do this without them. I swear to God, I cannot. And you can also find me on Sundays recording the Chef Tariq show because who else is going to record the Chef Tariq show? Jocelyn. Jocelyn, <coughs> he's not DJing, but like mostly me, right? Shout out to me. Caleb. So you guys can. I wasn't even fucking finished. On, That's crazy. On Go Instagram, ahead. Uh, at soya underscore Kayla, as well as at liquid gold, liquid underscore GLT. Um, of course, here on the Mix and Pop podcast, every week. Next week is my week. I'm thinking about what to make for the drink. What was to bring? Um, I think you should any make requests, like a, Let me know. <clears throat> a like reincarnation of sex in the driveway. A and no, you have to do that on the one Yeah, yeah, I've got some other things in the works. I'll be around um, working on. Photoshoot. Yes, we got actually have a couple of photo shoots coming up now, not just the one with Eric. I got another one for a cannabis 90s party. Okay. Um, so, really interested in participating in that. You guys will hear more and see more about that soon. Um, I also have the opportunity to basically be a part of uh, this convention or expo, if you will, here in Rhode Island that's going to happen in September. It's basically on like diversity and inclusion, on um, highlighting like women, minority, BIPOC owned small businesses. Um, I'm going to be there with my team with our can management is kind of seeing how, you know, we're like getting involved. Um, but I may have a chance to, you know, kind of showcase not just can management, but myself with liquid gold as well. So that's something to stay on top of too. And yeah, just got some other things in the works. Really looking forward to the next couple months. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Boop, 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 just boop, like that. Boop, boop, boop. All right. That's it, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to episode 33 of the Mixing Pot Podcast. We cannot do this without you. We love all of you, all of our listeners. Thank you. Love y'all. Thank you. Thank you. you Thank you.